question is consider the following functions from positive integers to real numbers and you are given with four five options 10 under root n n log of n base 2 and 100 by n and we have to find the correct arrangement of the above functions in increasing order of asymptotic complexity so as it is very clear from these options 10 is a constant and it has no growth all right it has no growth now coming to 100 by n 100 by n that is if we remove 100 or consider that as a constant it is actually 1 by n into 100 so 1 by n has a negative growth as it has a negative growth as compared to remaining n under root n and log n base 2 these values will grow either slowly or uh, quickly as compared to each other but compared to 100 by n all of them will be increasing and 100 by n will decrease as the value of n increases all right now uh, under root n and log n base 2 are definitely slower than n n has a linear growth rate but how will compare under root n and log n base 2 so if you have to take an example then what we can do is we can square both of these and find it down find it out that which one grows faster than the other all right so comparing both of them if we square them that means under root n into under root n and log n into log n so this gives me n and this gives me log n square or you can write it down log n into log n only all right now if i put n equal to 2 raised to power 10 then this value would be 2 raised to power 10 and this value would be log of 2 raised to power 10 base 2 multiplied by log of 2 raised to power 10 base 2 since you know that this case log of 2 raised to power 10 base 2 would give me 10 so 10 multiplied by 10 is 100 and it is compared with 2 raised to power 10 which would be approximately 1024 so definitely under root n is faster and it wins in this competition with the log n base 2 so the final answer would be that n has the maximum growth rate then below n there would be uh, under root n then log n base 2 then uh, then we would have 10 and the least growth rate is of 100 by n so the option that is correct is b because in this case least growth rate constant growth rate or i should say decreasing growth rate constant then compared to under root n log n grows slowly and the last is n or the const or the linear growth rate now coming to the second question in the second question we have to match different algorithms with their design paradigms if you are clear with the concept of different algorithms and how they are implemented and how they work then this is a very easy question for you guys so Kruskal's basically works using the greedy approach it basically sees what is the next edge that has the minimum weight so as to form the uh, spanning tree and that is how it works by choosing the greedy option in every iteration so Kruskal's will be uh, working as greedy paradigm or greedy algorithm now in case of quick sort we divide the entire input array into uh, different parts and then we solve each part recursively so it is a divide and conquer technique and floyd washel algorithm is a dynamic programming technique so the answer in this case would be p would be matched with 2 so a and c can be the options q would be matched with 1 so c is the option and r is matched with 3 the correct answer is 3 so the question says that you have to consider the following new order strategy for traversing a binary tree and the strategy is 
you have to visit the root then visit the right subtree using new order and then visit the left subtree so the new order traversal of the expression tree corresponding to reverse polish expression is given to you and this is the reverse polish polish expression and you have to find out the new order traversal out of the four options so what is reverse polish expression reverse polish expression is nothing but post order traversal all right you have to remember such names so that you don't get confused and what is post order traversal it means first you traverse the left subtree of your uh, root then you traverse the right subtree of the root and then you visit the root okay this is what is post order traversal now what is asked in the new order strategy new order strategy says to traverse in the following order the order is first you have to visit the root then you have to visit the right subtree and then at the end you have to visit the left subtree so if you notice very carefully reverse polish expression or the post order traversal is just the opposite of what is asked what is stated as new order so left right root if i reverse it and write it down i will get root right and left and since this expression or the post order traversal is given to you for a particular binary tree if you write this in the opposite order or if i write it starting from the right corner and going towards the left corner minus plus 1 star 7 6 Two minus star four and three. So what you will obtain is the correct answer. Actually, this is the correct answer because it is the reverse of the po post order traversal, and this option corresponds to option C. Okay, so this was a shortcut way of doing it. By chance, in the question while you are doing it or you are doing such questions, you do not or this. trick does not strike you you are not able to find out how to solve it and you decide to solve it by a proper long cut method so what would be the exact method that you would follow in case you are not aware of such uh, tricks such shortcuts then what you will do that the given post order traversal first needs to be converted into an infix expression okay this is a post fixed expression you have to first convert it into an infix expression now how to convert an a post fix expression into an infix expression basically a post fix writes the operator at the end of the two operands so you have to consider this fact and find out the correct infix so if i start traversing from the left end i see that the two operands are 3 Four and the operator is star. So the correct infix would be three star and four. If I consider the first three values or the symbols, so this is the correct po. po this is the postfix. This is the infix corresponding to these three symbols. I write the remaining expression as it is, and we'll convert it as we move further. okay i'm telling you the step by step procedure to convert from a postfix to an infix expression now consider this as the expression the postfix expression 3 into 4 would be one operand 5 is the second operand and minus is the third operand so the next corresponding infix would be 3 into 4 minus 5 and writing the remaining expression as it is all right now again consider the first ex the first operand coming till this bracket then two as the second operand and the symbol to the power of as the operator so if i convert it into infix i would get something like Three into four minus five raised to the power two 
six seven star one plus minus now that was till this point all was going same but from this point you will notice that if you start considering this bracket as the first operand this as the second operand six as the second operand then immediately after two operands you would not find an operator so this is an indication that you have to consider these three symbols now okay so a new set of bracket would be started from now on and this would look like 6 into 7 because every operator is a binary operator it would correspond to two operands and therefore we cannot have more than two operands here all right so this one plus minus here one operand two operand and operator so this would be converted to If you are familiar with this trick, you will be able to do it very quickly. It's not a very long method. So once you are understand, once you understand the entire procedure, it is very easy. Okay. And now the only operator that is left is minus. So we'll place this minus before in between the two major brackets. So this, this and this. 3 star 4 closes here. Minus 5 closing the second brace then 2 then minus then 6 into 7 plus 1 all right so this is our infix expression now from the infix expression you have you can make a tree and then find the corresponding new order expression so let's quickly make a tree out of it the operator and then the operator here operator this would be star, this would be 1, this would be 6, this would be 7, this would be minus, this would be star, this would be 5, 3, 4 and 2. So uh, quickly I will tell you how I made this. I considered the outermost operator and the two uh, brackets corresponding to this operator or the two operands corresponding to this now breaking these operands i get the major operator between the two operands within this bracket as this symbol that is raised to the power of or exponent symbol then breaking this bracket in the left subtree i get the major symbol as minus so i make it the root then breaking the left subtree again i get the symbol of star or multiplication as the root and I make 3 and 4 as the children. So this is my tree that would result from the reverse Polish expression by converting it to infix. Now I would traverse it using the new order strategy. So what is the new order strategy? Visit the root. So I vis when I visit this root, I encircle it and I write down the expression that will that I will get correspondingly. So I visit the root and now I visit the right subtree. I go to the right subtree. On the right subtree, I again follow the same thing. I visit the root. The root is plus. Now I visit the right subtree and I now visit the root. The root is 1. Now since plus the right subtree of plus is over, I go to the left subtree. I visit the root of the left subtree, so I print star, then I visit the right root, the root of the right subtree which is 7, then since the right subtree is over, I print 6 from the left subtree, the entire left subtree is over and the right subtree of minus is also over, so I go to the left subtree. For the left subtree, I print the root, then I go to the right subtree see right subtree and I print the value 2 since right subtree is over I go to the left subtree and print the root since the root is done I print the right root the root of the right subtree then star then 4 and then 3 star 4 and 3 and this is the expression that you will get for the new order strategy and if you see this is the exact expression that we got from the shortcut. So the correct answer is C. 
I hope you understood this question. It was not very tricky, but yes, if you know the shortcut, you can easily grab the marks. Thank you for watching the video. If you understood the question, please mention it in the comments section below. Like this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more lectures on the preparation series and other computer science related subjects. Stay tuned to our channel. Thank you. Good luck.